Hi Sharks, my name is Erica, I'm from Iowa City, Iowa, and I'm here seeking $100,000 for 6% in my company, No Limits. Sharks, did you know there are 14 million people who struggle with daily living activities such as dressing themselves due to a disability? But there just aren't that many options out there. So I created No Limits, an adaptive clothing brand with the mission of increasing comfort, confidence, and independence in those who struggle with clothing due to a disability. We started with pants for amputees. They feature hidden zippers. Oh, wow. To make it easier to dress and undress as well as make prosthetic adjustments throughout the day. We put in reinforced patches to stand up to the carbon fiber parts and mechanical needs from prosthetics. And we specially shaped them to fit around the extra bulk of a prosthetic socket. That's right, sharks. I don't put my pants on just like everybody else. I was in an accident in 2018 and lost my leg. Suddenly, I wasn't able to wear what everyone else was wearing. My prosthetic was bulky, tearing holes in my clothes, and I had to completely undress any time I needed to make a prosthetic adjustment. And I wasn't alone. As we were building, people with a variety of physical challenges were reaching out to us, so we decided to add sensory and wheelchair product lines to our collection. So Sharks, are you ready to help everyone live life with no limits? Erica, how big is this market? Like, can you build a sustainable business at scale for this? Absolutely. The U.S. total addressable market is $2.6 billion. You know, it's, it's a huge market. I've done a little bit of work in this. So earlier this year, Skims were Team USA's Olympic sponsor. And we also sponsored the Paralympics, which is huh. actually my favorite part of the Games. So we've actually looked quite a lot into accessibility, specifically for underwear and shapewear. So what I really want to understand is more about the technical aspect of what you're doing differently and what sets you apart. Because there's a ton of competition, right? Right. Actually, not a lot not in the much. adaptive space. Really? And it is easier to obtain IP on adaptive clothing because it serves a functional purpose. So we're drafting a patent right now for the zipper on the inseam of the pant all the way halfway up the thigh. The method I'm really excited about to launch is tapping into healthcare systems, clinics, people who are interfacing with these people all day and every day. Over 80% of people who struggle with clothing due to a disability, the first or second person they ask is actually their healthcare provider. That's a great idea. Tell me a little bit more about you, though. Yeah, so I was studying during my accident. I was on a internship in Colorado, and I got my dream job offer, which was to be a plutonium chemist at Los Alamos National Lab. Oh, wow. Really? Wow. Yeah. What, what wow. made you want to be a plutonium chemist? I just fell in love with it. It was cool because it had applications on the Mars rover. I loved the idea of discovering something new. And then when I was in my accident, I was no longer able to work in the lab because it was it was dangerous for I was on crutches for a really long time. And wow. so I started altering clothes and then it just snowballed. That's great. I mean, apart from the obvious, how has the accident really changed your life? I mean, it opened my eyes to things that I never would have experienced before. <sighs> I obviously would not want to go through that pain again, but I felt like this is my purpose. Yeah, and it's if your I calling. can make this mean something, then it was something that happened to me for a reason. I think the hallmark of our business is that we talk about never having to sacrifice style for the sake of inclusivity. So if you are in the plus size spectrum, or if you're a shorter woman or a taller woman, you don't want to have to make sacrifices. And so I think more optionality everywhere in the market is needed. And that's what I'm talking about in this accessibility market. It's huge. So for me, this is incredible. But back to the sales. Give us the numbers. What are you selling at the moment? Yeah, so I did $26,000 on my sewing machine. And then I pre-sold $41,000 in the pants for amputees. And that's the only thing that we've put to market so far. And is that pre-sold pre to individuals online or to... Half was to individuals, and then half was our purchase order on the behalf of the VA. Um, for $500, 500 so units able... as a phase one with a letter of intent for a phase two for $100,000 in the state of Minnesota and to scale national. Oh, congratulations. Oh my goodness. How, did you, yes. how did you get into the VA? They reached out to us. They reached out to That's you. fabulous. Yes. Erica, you are exactly the type of person that I like to invest in. You've got the product, you've figured it out, you've got purchase orders. This is an absolute no-brainer. Mark, do you want to come in on this? Yeah, I'd love to Let's come Let's do in. it together. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. I am very happy with the 100K. You asked for 100K for 6%. 12%. OK. 
can you make it 12% and you get Mark and me? Would you do 100K for 10%? I like that she's negotiating, give it 10%. Yes. You got a deal. Deal. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> was that too quick? <laughs> that was, that was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no, thank you. you Congrats such on what a you're sweetheart. Doing. Don't call it. Well done. You nailed well done. it. Amazing. The product's amazing. Chisholm. You're going to do a great job. Thank you so Good much. Good job, Erica. You're thank kill you. It. Thank you so much. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You've come to the right place.